Two-year-old male with past medical history of liver cirrhosis and multiple admissions for alcohol intoxication in the past presents to the ER for complaint of worsening epigastric discomfort after a night of drinking alcohol. The patient denies any changes in stool color, blood in stool, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Amylase, lipase, and abdominal CT are all normal. The patient undergoes EGD, which demonstrates small, non-bleeding esophageal varices. Which of the following is the most appropriate therapy at this time? So for our patient um, who has esophageal varices and cirrhosis, the answer is A, not at all. Okay, so it's very important that we understand a few things about esophageal varices and it's very important that we catch these early. They're present in 30% of compensated cirrhotic patients and they're also present in 60% of decompensated cirrhotic patients. The mortality rate for these if they bleed and we don't intervene is about 20%. So it's very important that we catch them early and intervene properly. So the reason why A is the answer is because not all is a non-selective beta blocker as opposed to metoprolol that is uh, cardio selective and the idea here is the non-selective beta blockers will allow for portal venous inflow to be reduced so it will shunt the blood away from the portal circulation and therefore will reduce the congestion of flow within the, the esophageal varices and make the bleeds uh, not as aggressive okay um, they do reduce the bleeds for every 10 patients that we treat with not all we reduce one esophageal bleed so this is very important metoprolol like we said is Cardio selective, so it will not help in this situation. Um, one thing that we want to notice is they commented on this as being a small esophageal varices where medical therapy is superior to, let's say, endoscopic intervention. Uh, this is again for non bleeding varices. But if you have a large non bleeding varices, the recommendation is, is to do endoscopic intervention on these patients. So, in case they throw that your way on the exam, you might want to go for endoscopic intervention if it is a large esophageal varice. If it's um, a medium size, the data is mixed on that. I don't think they'll test you on that. Um, octreotide is important in the setting of an active bleed. So if they give you a patient that's having an active esophageal bleed, that's when you would use octreotide. Again, this is a non-bleeding patient. And remember, if they are bleeding, they get octreotide, they get fluids, PPI, and the another thing that's very important that comes up often is they should get antibiotics. Generally, the recommendation is to give them a third-generation cephalosporin that does reduce mortality in esophageal variceal bleeds. Okay, hope you found this helpful. Please leave your comments and questions in the section below.